All right, guys. Um, welcome back. Uh, if you watch my first video and you make it to the second, um, thank you for uh, for liking that video and uh, subscribing, which I hope you did. Um, just kind of doing more testing with the video and audio and clearing things up. I thought the mic was a little too close last time, so uh, I'm just making sure that everything's clear for you guys. Um, I also noticed that I move around a little fast, so I'm going to try to make it a little smoother when I, when I move around and show you guys things. Um, so I was going to take you on a run of what I do when uh, I'm just getting resources and stuff like that. Excuse me for the burp. Uh, anytime that playground comes up, I, uh, I chop it down. And same with the clay, the, uh, the wagon there on a fresh reload it's usually there for from finding uh, I was gonna take you guys on a hunt run show you my spots where I get bears and stuff if I press the right buttons hopefully and um, if we have any shenanigans in between we'll have some shenanigans in between again um, this is day 25 of my uh, my first uh, run with this game in the second build uh, I'm going to show you the deer spot and the chicken spot first. It's just right across from the bandit camp. You go up the hill. I find that anywhere there is a, uh, a sign, you're going to have a, uh, a node for respawn for, uh, for that animal. If that's not the case, call me on my bull and uh, we'll go about it another day. Uh, otherwise, that's what I've noticed. Um, Another thing is, I, 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 one truck for this whole map, for me, really breaks my heart. I might end up reloading a, a new game just to see if I get more trucks, but right now, I'm just having fun with the deer and chicken hunting, testing my aim. Oh, there's a deer. Let's see if I can get you. I want a headshot. Just a little uh, hat. Oh, that's good. Come on. See, I nailed the chickens. The deers. Like, I got my stuff on the chickens. But, uh, the deers are a little bit more. So, yeah, this is a spot for the deers and the chicken. My first one that I'm going to show you. Next spot I'm going to show you is, uh, a spot for double uh, double bears. I get you. Yeah. Chickens. All right. Let's see if I find that deer again. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. I want your guts. Oh man. I am missing on the headshots today. And you'll notice that the um, they changed the durability of the arrows. Because they definitely break more of this build. Come on, dear, you're making me. There we go. You're making me work for my meat. Oh, that was a head. Come on. That was a headshot. Come here, buddy. Yes. All right. I'm not going to skin him right now because I'm showing you guys where the spots are. So, that, yeah, that's the deer spot. Pretty simple. Deers give you guts and, um, and fuel. So, fat for rendering. Sorry, I lost my words there. Yeah, the cars didn't reload. Usually the cars reload in this spot, and you can get uh, you can get car parts from those uh, sledges. I'm doing more testing on which ones produce car parts and which ones don't. I mark them with a tanning bed, so you'll see them on my map. If you see a tanning bed on the random side of the road, that's usually where a, uh, a spot with uh, car parts comes. 
So yeah, like I said, I was going to show you the uh, the next spot, which is going to be the bear spot for me. Oh, no raiders. I mean, obviously there's this bear spot in front of the motel. He's usually chilling about. But everyone knows that one. It's just the one near the mines that a lot of people don't know about. Which, um, the reason I like it better is because it's a spot that's up on the hill. So, I find that anything, like, on top of a mountain, the, uh, the horde doesn't come at night. So, if you get stuck, like, render, uh, harvesting with that. Whoa! I was going way too fast. Uh, if you get stuck har harvesting the fat and it's nighttime, it's a lot easier to uh, to get there. All right, so it's usually around this first pillar here. And if I remember correctly, there's a little hill around here. I can go up. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. So not too far from that first post on the electrical power lines, and then you just take a left, I think. So all, yeah, it's all the way up the mountain. Gotta go all the way up the road, and then take a left. Yeah. No, nope, making a liar out of me. Oh, never mind. It's the right. Oops. Oh. Let's see, chickens. I actually didn't notice chickens up here in this spot too, so that's the third chicken spot. Woohoo! The reason I like the chickens better is because you do get a small amount of fat. And, um, sorry, you get feathers and uh, and food from them. Oh, there's another car I can harvest. I forgot about this one. Hello, Mr. Bear. See? Right near the tower. Mr. Bear, and did he just, like, commit suicide? What the hell? Mr. Bear! Oh, there you are, Mr. Bear. And sometimes if you leave it alone for a while, there will be two bears up here, which is always nice. So yeah, that's the second uh, hunting spot that I go to. And I'll remember to come back and get that car. That'll be uh, my next little uh, gameplay thing. Well, I'm not, maybe not show you. Oh, I wanted to show you guys how I get a car unstuck. I don't want to get in, stuck in a difficult spot, but I want to show you what I do. Oh, we check this guy. I didn't see a green thing. Whoa. A battery. Definitely get that. I definitely didn't clear my inventory before I went out here. Alright, let's see if I can get this car stuck. Maybe a ledge. I can do it on. There we go. Alright, it's not stuck, but let's see if this works. No. It has to be stuck. Well, I'll head over to my last hunting spot while I try to get this car stuck. And I noticed that the cars are way better. Oh! Another thing I mentioned I put a tanning rack beside cars that uh, respond. Let's do this. See if it makes a car part. Don't make a liar out of me. This node in particular. I need an engine. Give me an engine. I want an engine. Ah, batteries. A million batteries from this one in particular. 
No. No. Uh, took my wood. Whatever. But yeah, that node in particular always produces batteries. Again, going past the other bear spot. Whoa. Computer taking a little bit of a sink. Yeah, so, uh, sorry if uh, my frame rates aren't optimal like some other people. I'm working on a 15-year-old computer. Yeah, that's right, 15 years old. Um, when I bought it, it was top of the line. That's why it's still able to go. But the only thing I've upgraded is the graphics card. Uh, still seems to be holding out, but definitely need a new one. All right, just gonna dump some stuff off here. So just in case I actually do find something. Organize this later. Alright, just gonna put this in the right spot. Alright, hopefully that wasn't too boring for you guys. Let's get this over to our last chicken spot. Yep, this is my hallway. You guys are probably like, man, that's a ridiculous setup having all those stumps. Well, you know what? It's really dark in this game. And you can't see crap. So this makes it so I can drive full speed and not have to worry about things. And I know when to stop. Because this car's car always spins out when we stop. And then this is my chicken spot. And I like to even come into it in the dark. And those are my guiders. Alright, coming here like Hell Hath Fury. And this is the last chicken spot. Again. Bug. When you're putting away hits. Don't be near your car when you're putting away your sledgehammer. You can take out your car parts. So, those are my hunting spots. If anybody has any questions or wants or has any other hunting spots that they've noticed, I'd love to know. Because I like more spots to go. Otherwise, I think the next video I'm going to show you is the bandit camp run I do at the urban area. Usually like 15 raiders pop. But I want a little bit more ammo for my... Yeah, I want some more ammo for my uh, hunting rifle before I do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... I, this one's a little basic, just showing you my hunting spots, my little runs that I do, uh, and how I navigate through the world. Again, they really fix the car on this one. It's hard to get jammed. I think I'm going to end off this video trying to really, really ram this car in. We'll see. Let's get you stuck somewhere. I need a ridge. Any ridge. Yeah, I'm driving like... Oh, that was... <laughs> Come on, I need a. Ah, here we go. There's a nice ridge. I mean, oh, am I stuck? If I can back up, I'm not stuck. All right. Come on, get stuck. Really, man, it, like, I'm telling you, they, they really fixed the cars this patch. No, nope. still not stuck. Oh, there's got to be a, a simpler way to get this car stuck to show you this example. <laughs> oh, making a wire out of me, game. Oh, man, Ratfi, you really fixed your game here. Cause this thing is boss. Come on. Are you stuck yet? Nope. I'm really trying, guys. Like, oh, this ought to do it. No, uh, am I not stuck? Okay, I'm stuck. Perfect. All right, perfect. Now I can show you guys what I mean. 
This is the collision box for the the, uh, the car. Also the tailgate. So if you need to push it forward, you just go and jump on it, and usually it'll unlodge. I'm going to have to show you guys next time because that was a complete fail. Um, again, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, hopefully I can show you that example some other time. But, wow, that was a fail. <laughs> thanks again. Peace out.